In this presentation, we will learn how to use the OAS Excel connector to read and write local and remote data. First, let's walk through setting the OAS connector up on your system. After you have open automation software installed, open the OAS Excel tag browser by choosing configure Excel from the top menu. You will see an icon at the bottom left that says enable OAS Excel add-in. Clicking it will open the Open Automation Website Knowledge Base article on how to add the OAS Excel add-in to Microsoft Excel. For step one of the article, we need to know whether we are running the 32 or 64-bit version of Excel on our system. If you are not sure, open Excel and then go to File Account. Click on the About Excel icon. A window pops up and the first line in that window will tell you what version you have. Mine, as you can see, is the 64-bit version. Next, select File Options from the menu. A window will open up. Choose Add-ins from the menu on the left. At the bottom, you will see Manage Excel Add-in. Click the Go button next to it. Another window will appear that says Add-ins at the top. Click Browse and navigate to the installation directory for Open Automation Software. Mine is Program Files 86 Open Automation Software OPCSystems.net. There you will see OAS Excel Add in and OAS Excel Add in 64. Choose OAS Excel Add-in if you are running the 32-bit version of Excel and OAS Excel Add-in 64 if you are running the 64-bit version. Once you select that, you will see that it then becomes enabled under your add-ins. This process needs to be performed just once on your operating system. You will also need to do it for any remote system that you deploy your workbook to. Now we are ready to use the OAS Excel Tag Browser. First, we select our network node. If you wanted the Excel workbook to run on a remote system to share data over a network or even over the internet, you would enter the IP address, network node name, or the registered domain name here. I am running the OAS service from my local machine, so I will select localhost. I can now browse my tags. Let's just select this ramp tag here. You can see there are several hundred parameters associated with that tag. Most commonly, however, you will select the value of the tag as I am doing now. The formula for the cell will appear down here. Click copy to clipboard. I will then paste that into the cell in Excel that I want the value to appear in. Now we can see the ramp value is updating into my spreadsheet. Now I want to add this ramp2 value as well. I could select it here like I did for ramp, but I can also do it by cutting and pasting the first formula and adjusting the name. You can also just type the whole formula in. Let's do the same with ramp3. You can do a lot of things with Excel. Let's select our three ramp values and then choose insert chart from the top menu. Now I have a 3D bar chart with my ramp values. On my system, the update speed is probably quite a bit faster than yours at this point. Let's fix that. Let's go back to the knowledge base article. At the bottom of step one, the article discusses the Excel throttle rate. By default, it runs at a two second rate. The article tells us how to adjust it. First, we need to open the Excel Visual Basic Editor, and we can do that by pressing Alt F11. In the immediate window, we then need to enter application.rtd.throttleInterval equals zero. We can cut and paste that from the article if we choose, then hit Enter. The update speed will change immediately. One thing to note is to make sure that the update rate on your tags is set to your desired speed as well. The Excel connector will only update as fast as the update rate for your tags. If I wanted to slow it down, I could change it from 0 to 1000, and that will make my speed just one second. Let's set it back to 0, which is the fastest speed. With the OAS Excel connector and the throttle rate set to 0, you will be able to achieve a 30 millisecond update rate. 
Looking again at the tag browser, we can choose what we want displayed, either a value or a character string, if the data quality of the tag is bad. That is one of the optional parameters that is available. Now, let's look at how to write to a tag from Excel. First, let's go back to Excel and put a formula in cell A4 to add up the values of the three RAM tags. Now, in the OAS tag browser, let's browse to the tag we want to write to. Let's use this write float tag. Then we will select the write option. We could enter a value here, or we can specify an Excel cell from our workbook here. I'm going to use A4, which is the sum of our ramp tags. Now we will click copy to clipboard and go paste it into another cell. We now see a static number value in the cell where we, we pasted our formula. This is the OAS service giving us a confirmation that the tag was written. If we look at the bottom of step three in the knowledge base article, we see that the two indicates the value is being written. OAS will return a value from zero to five and the article tells you what those values mean. Now let's open configure tags and see that the data coming into our right float tag matches what's in our Excel spreadsheet. We can see that it is. If our right float tag was connected to an OPC server or maybe an Allen Bradley or Siemens controller, that write would continue from Excel through the OAS service down to the controller or OPC server. If you have security enabled on your system, you can see that there is a security option that you can select under the OAS tag browser to enter the username and password that would be used for the Excel workbook to authenticate to read or write to those tags. There is a video on the Open Automation site on how to implement security in OAS. Also for networking, if you have changed the default TCP port number from 58727 on the OAS engine, you can change that here as well and give that as a function to put in Excel to make the Excel client connect over the port you have specified. If you want to deploy your Excel workbook to a remote system, first copy the necessary files to your target machine. Those files are listed at the bottom of the Getting Started with Excel Knowledge Base article. You can put them anywhere you choose on the target machine. Then perform step one from the article to register the OAS Excel add-in on the target machine. If you have any further questions about the Excel connector or any other product feature, select Contact Us from the top menu bar of our website, openautomationsoftware.com, and send us an email or give us a call or enter your information into the Contact Us form. For more information on open automation software, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.